Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are my ladies at this morning? Where you at? Where you at? I want to talk to you for a second. I want to talk to you for a second. So, um, good morning, Carla Nicole. I'm a wisdom coach, and I wanted to talk about something today that I think is vitally important for we as women to think about. Um, so, basically, uh, the number one thing that I think we need to think about is in this lifetime, we have many, many responsibilities. We have children. We have love lives. We have careers. We have bills. We have responsibilities. We have a ton of things, right? But the, the mere fact that we have a lot of things um, going on as women, I think that it's vitally important that I continue to encourage you to pay attention to your self worth and value. It's very important that you think about your self worth and your value. Um, <clears throat> the title of this video this morning is called um, When You Bite Off More Than You Can Chew. As women, I think um, because there's so much, just so much to do, so much we have to focus on, so much we have to be, um, you know, always ahead of. Good morning, Cody. We often don't pay attention to the fact that even with our things we need to get done, things we need to do, things, good morning, Annette, things we need to do, things we need to get done, I think that... Um, Nine times out of ten, we don't realize that we're just biting off more than we can chew. So it's very important that we talk about this because I don't think that people really realize that when you're making decisions, I'm talking about even just reg regular basic decisions for your life as a woman. And let's just say that you're a single woman or you're a woman doing what you need to do, taking care of things, taking care of kids, a man, all the stuff that goes with that. We have to be mindful that... If we're going to focus on um, taking care of certain responsibilities, including ourselves, there requires um, an assessment that we need to do as women to think about. And I don't think that we do enough. Um, we want to focus on what do we need to do for him? What do we need to do for, for our kids? What do we need to do for this and that? But I want you to think about when you are putting forth certain things in your life and obligations you have to do and complete what are you doing to make sure that you're mastering making sure that you're not biting off more than you can chew first and foremost if you're biting a whole bunch of stuff and you're not able to chew it you're going to choke <laughs> okay just as an example so are you biting off more than you can chew or not if you are then you need to step back and say okay Here's my capacity as a woman. We have to be mindful. What is our capacity? What can we handle? Is it important as a woman to make sure that we're focused on what we can, what we can do, what we can handle, and what we, what we need help with? Great rise, Satori. So we have to sit down and say, this is what I'm able to do. This is what I'm able not to do. Here's the thing. As a woman... I think because it has been all across the board that we need to be power drivers. We need to do this and do that. We need to make sure we're independent and all this other stuff, which I want us to take off the table and out of our mind for a minute. First of all, as a woman, you're going to need a man in your life to help you with some stuff. <laughs> okay. There's no possible way that as a woman, I don't care if you're single. I don't care. Um, if you're a single mom or whatever, if you are a woman and you have to have certain things done, you're going to need a man to help you along the way with certain things that are in, in place. What's happening is as a woman, single woman or a woman that's trying to do what she needs to do, we're getting, we're, we're going beyond capacity, which means that in, in, in that we're losing ourself, we're losing, um, our health. Okay. And we're losing a lot of focus because we're spending too much time doing way too much. We're not being mindful. Like, hold on a minute. 
what can I do as a woman to make sure that I'm actually doing some things that is within my capacity to handle? First and foremost, um, as a woman, you can't just parent these children by yourself. You're going to need help. You're going to need a team. You're going to need children assistance. I'm sorry. It's what it is. If you have a dad that's not around or not available, you're going to need some men, especially if you have sons and well, actually sons and daughters. Cause I believe that we oftentimes feel like a male influence isn't necessary for daughters, but they are. One of the reasons why I'm so balanced as a woman is I had a father. I had a father talk to me every morning in the morning. He and I would sit down. We talk about things. We discuss things. He would, he would challenge me. He would teach me about how to, how to read a map. He would teach me about, you don't just go with what people say. Nothing in life is free. All that stuff that my daddy taught me. He taught me when I was young, growing up, sitting, in, sitting across from me in my, in, in my kitchen. Every morning we had conversations every morning before school. Now, mind you, my dad worked like crazy hours, <laughs> but he made sure to get up in the morning with me and we would have our morning conversations until this day. I still call him every morning. We still have our morning conversations. So anyway, you as a single mom, I don't care <laughs> regardless. I know that even when you have children, you think you can do it all. And listen, I have a son that is 12 years old. There is no way that I'm going to teach my son how to be a man. Okay. So with that said, I have men in my life to make sure that they can help me to be a, a mom, a single mom to help him to create the, the, the essence of his own being to be the best level of himself. Hey, Octavia, to be the best level of himself. And I need men to help me to help him become the best version of him because I'm not going to be able to teach him how to be a man. I don't care what I do. I will always be a woman. Okay. So again, we got to learn what is our capacity as a woman. I have to know, okay, I can't take my son, but so far as a woman. So let me make sure I got some men here that can help me with this child. <laughs> Just that simple. So I have a team of men that I have them talk to him. I've had my son go into meditative courses with me. I've had my son talk to different men about different things because I'm not going to be able to tell him some things. So as a real woman, I got to know, okay, Carla Nicole, you can only do so much. And in that so much of your capacity, build in that capacity and be the best version of you as you can be. But at the end of the day, I can't teach my son how to be a man. I don't think I even can remember how to tie a tie. So what the hell am I going to do? I need, I need men, period. Just what it is. So I have men that help my son even see, you know, financial stuff and learning about men and spirituality. All this stuff is important. Like you need to have help women. We oftentimes think, well, shh, I'm single. I'm good. I'm independent. I can do it all. You can't do it all. And this is why our health is compromised. This is why we're exhausted. We cannot be very good at parenting because we are so agitated with our love life. We don't have enough men or lovers or whatever in our life. So now we're aggravated because we're sexually deprived. We're not being touched enough. So now we're just, what do you want, son? What do you want? Go sit down. Da -da 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 -da. You're acting ass because you're not, you're not fulfilled enough with enough male presence in your life just what it is. You're not having conversations with men. You want men, but you're aggravated and bitter because you don't have one, right? So this is something I want y'all to get, okay? We have to understand we're biting off more than we can than we can chew, and we can't do it all, people. Ladies, you can't do it all. No matter how much you want to, no matter how good you're doing, no matter what your credit score is and how good my house is and what car I drive, that don't mean a hill of beans. When you're exhausted and you just falling asleep because you can't stand to stay awake for an, another hour or two to work with your son on his homework or work with your daughter with her, with her uh, aspirations, you, you can't, you're exhausted people. And we're doing stuff to where we're not being mindful of the capacity. It is okay to have different types of desires in life. It's great. It's wonderful to have different desires in life and what we want and what we need. But we also have to be real and realistic. When we have certain things we desire and want, 
we have to also understand we have to stair step our stuff stair step ourselves to get to that level of capacity once we receive that thing right oh i want to have a mansion i want to have a this i want to have a that but you don't have anything in place to prepare you for that so all you're doing is rushing to that i want to rush to this i want to get this and i think um we have to be realistic um Sometimes in my coaching sessions, I have to keep it real and a buck with a lot of these ladies that feel like, well, you know, I had all this I had planned to do, but now, you know, I'm in the middle of a separation. Okay. And in the middle of your separation, you realize that you're not going to be able to uphold what you're trying to accomplish when you had a second partner or someone to help you with that. So now you need to bring your, your level of thinking and understanding to what your vision is versus what is real. You don't have a second income coming in, so you can't continue to do this $5,000 a month uh, mortgage. You, you just can't afford it. So if you can't afford something, what do you need to do? You have, you have to sit down and say, okay, this is what I can afford without his income. So if I'm in the in in in, a, in the midst of a split, and I want certain things in this lifetime, I understand that something's gonna have to give, or I'm going to be giving so much of myself, so much of my energy, so much of my time, because I'm going to have to in order for me to 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 keep this home or whatever, I'm gonna have to work three jobs. What kind of mom are you gonna be if you at at the job at three different jobs? You're over capacity. What, what, what are you going to do but sleep at the home you're, you're, you're at because you don't have help now? So we have to sit down and look at, am I biting off more than I can chew? Am I doing way too much? If I am doing too much, do I have help? Do I have a network of people that can help me to build what I'm trying to create? Again, a lot of times we don't want to own the fact that sometimes our visions and what we want and aspire is way too big. Bring it down to reality. If you've got too much that you're trying to do because you want to, listen, we have, sometimes we may have a lover, we may have a partner that is actually a part of the house, a part of what we're doing, a part of what we're trying to build. So that's great. But some of us don't. So you don't have that extra income coming in. So therefore you need to bring your desires and stuff down to reality. I'm not saying to stop having goals and, and, and aspirations. Don't, don't take me out of context. But what I am saying is don't get to the point that you're over exor over exerting yourself to exhaustion because you done bit off more than you can chew. <laughs> okay. But I get what I'm saying. So, um, with that said, we have to be mindful that as a woman, we need a network of people to help us with goals and being the supreme the supreme being we're born to be and so we also have to be honest with self if you are getting to the point of exhaustion you are getting to the point that you're doing so much just to try to get things and you're still feeling depleted you're still feeling like you're not enough You've got to step back and start really analyzing what is your values. What do you truly value in this lifetime? Because a lot of times we're valuing stuff that don't mean anything. Our self-love has to come from here. We have to care about how we're doing. That also means and includes, am I exhausted because I cannot reap what I sow? One of the beautiful things about my life is when I have time off, when I'm off work, I can come in and just be in total contentment, a total peace. Everything is in alignment. I may not have a mansion, but I, damn it, I got everything I need, everything I need. So when I'm in that space of understanding I got everything I need, guess what? I don't feel exhausted. I'm able to be 100% mom to my, to my son. 100% mom to my daughter, 100% woman to my man. I can be all of that because guess what? I'm content. I have peace. I have what I want and, and, and am fully content. But you can't have that if you're doing so much to gain these things that you want so bad that you're exhausted. Many women are exhausted. They're tired. 
And then they don't, then they got issues with men. I don't want to be, I don't want to do this with no man. And I don't need no man for nothing. And all this other nonsense. And now you're struggling. You're struggling to make your so-called desires to meet what you want. Because you're so, so caught up in, I got to have things. Rather than making sure you have your self-love. Your self-love requires you to sit back and say, am I exhausted? Do I need to cut some stuff out? Do I need help? What do I need help with? How can I make things better for me? How can I feel more fully functional? I can be a better lover when I'm all in with incapacity. I can love on a man with no problem because I don't have to think about, well, what do I got to do? What's this? What's that? I can... I can be there with him in the present if I am a lover of myself. <laughs> you can't be a full, full on lover to someone else if you ain't loving on you. I'm listen, I'm just telling you. So it's important that we understand if you are biting off ladies more than you can chew, start to sit back and say, where can I cut back on some of these obligations and who can I get to help me? And what, and even if it's, even if you got some adult kids, some of your adult children can help you with things. Sometimes you might say, hey, I need some help. You might have some male friends that have no problem being in your presence because they like what they see. Listen, bring them men in and help have them to help you. And you may even have better opportunity of connecting to men that maybe can can be lovers. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times we don't want to... We don't want to open ourselves up because we're so hurt and, and got all this bitterness and we don't want to be a, we don't want this and we don't want that and I don't want to love again and I'm, doo -doo 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 -doo. and this wall is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where can't nobody see you and you're exhausted. Everything you built, you have the fabulous car, the fabulous home and all that, but you can't even enjoy it. That doesn't make any sense. This is why it's important. People stop. Pay attention to what's around you. Are you within capacity? Are you doing everything you need to do? If not, then what do you need to do to change that? How can you make the relationship of yourself more fruitful, more enjoyable? You can. It just requires you to step back and say, hold on a minute. I need this to be in place so that I can have everything I need without having everything to be so, so outlandish. It doesn't mean a hill of beans if you're in a mansion and you can't enjoy it. It doesn't mean a hill of beans if you're driving around in a car and you can't afford it. That doesn't make any sense. Listen, I'm a coach, wisdom coach, Carla Nicole. Make sure you inbox me if you're having this issue with trying to balance out life. You sometimes need me in your life to help you equalize that. If you're over capacity, your health is going to become very, very, very depleted. Your health is going to become an issue. And then once you are finished with doing all this get up and go and doing all these things, you won't even be able to enjoy it because you'll be deceased. Because you done exerted yourself way beyond capacity and you bit off more than you can chew. And now you're not able to enjoy everything you worked so hard to gain. This is why I say as a coach, I tell my clients all the time, it's very important that you balance out what you have going on. When you have stuff that is too much, ask for help. Stop assuming, I'm a woman, I can do everything. No, you can't. I just got done saying that. I can't raise my son to be a man. I can't. Can I care for him and love him and take care of him? Yes. But as far as teaching my son, son how to be a man, I cannot do. As far as with being a woman, I cannot do certain things by myself. Do I need a man? Yes. And sometimes I need many men to help me with many things. I am not a house, a, a, a home improvement type of person. I don't like doing outdoor work. I am not that either. So I need a man to come over here and do my gardening and mow my grass. I need a man to come over here and put certain things up for me. I, I It's just not within my realm of, of capacity or what I'm good at. So with that said, when you know as a woman what your shortcomings are, you can sit back and say, okay, I need a man for this. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. So I need a man to help me with my vehicle. I need a man for this. And be, I mean, good morning. And so it's important that we sit back and say, okay, let me keep it a buck with myself. It's easy to lie to other people, but it's hard as hell to lie to you. 
You can't be everything, honey. Ladies, you can't be everything. You can only take them so far and within your capacity. So master your capacity. Figure out how, what, what where am I good at? Where am I fitting at? What, what's good right here? What, what, what works? Okay. And exactly, Regina needs man for sex and most women do. So at the end of the day, when we're trying to move around, we got to know what do we need in our life to make sure we are within capacity. It's imperative. Listen, share this video, tag your friends, tag your sisters, tag your mamas that are tired, exhausted. Tell your mamas, tell your aunties, listen, at the end of the day, y'all need to get over here and listen to this because you're exerting yourself to, to depletion. And if you are not mindful, you'll, you'll check out. You'll check out, be out, out of here at a graveyard some damn where. Because you're doing so much, you're over capacity, you're trying to make sure, I gotta get, I have to do these big old dinners, and I gotta make sure all my grandkids have everything. I got, you know, you know, I'm a grandma, trust me. I have one grandson, and let me tell you, he is spoiled, and I do take care of him, but at the end of the day, I'm not going broke for baby Britain. As much as I love that baby, he, I am not going broke for him. He will get what he needs. So if he's hungry, he's got all the snacks he wants. But as far as going broke, no. That's over my capacity. So what kind of grandmother am I if I can't look at me and say, what can you give this baby without depleting you? This is a part of self-loving. Women, if you don't want to know, you better figure it out. Where are you at in your capacity? Are you within the realm of your capacity? Are you? That's like going to the... That's like going to the um, to the store and spending money you don't have and then you're you got what shoppers regret oh i should have never spent all this money i gotta take all this stuff back tomorrow because i done done too much no you didn't do too much you over you went over drawn you went over the amount you had and that's what we do in relationships we're going way too far beyond what we're trying to do rather than sitting back and say okay wait a minute within this realm right here Within my orbit, within my world, I can handle this, 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 and this just fine. <laughs> but after that, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need a man. I'm going to need my children to help me. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need girlfriends to bounce stuff off of. This is where mastery comes in of self. This is self-loving, babe. If you want loving, if you want loving and you want a man to love on you, you better first love on yourself. And the first part of doing that is seeing your capacity. Am I biting off more than I can chew? If I'm biting off more than I can chew, then maybe I need to step back and say, okay, let me make some arrangements. I know damn well I'm not good outside. So why would I take my ass out there and try to do something when I know I'm not going to be good at it? That's not being in my supreme self if I'm faking myself. Okay? Thank you so much, Regina. I appreciate that. So we have to sit back and look. Okay, here's where I am. Here's what I need. Here's what I need to focus on. This is where I'm at as far as a woman. This is where I'm at. This is my capacity. If I'm going over capacity, then that means I'm depleting myself. If I'm depleting myself, I'm not loving me. Okay? You're not loving yourself when you deplete yourself. Make sure y'all share, tag this video. Make sure you understand that there's women out here that are depleted. They're exhausted. They're tired. They, they really are struggling with loving self. And their only reason is because they've been taught to overexert, to do so much, to take care of everybody else and not them. So that's why you see women starting to deplete in their health after about 45, 50. They start getting heart attacks. They start getting all exhausted. They get all these disease because there's dis-ease in the body because they never stopped and said, I'm thankful for what I have. I am in within capacity to do what I need to do. I am a, I am all woman, so I'm able to be all woman to a, a, a handsome man or a lover in my life. I'm able to be a great mom and a great parent. I can be a bomb-ass grandma if I'm making sure I'm loving me. I'm not doing baby Britain, my son and daughter. I'm not doing them any good if I'm not loving myself. And in order for me to do that, I had to get real, real strategic as far as figuring out what's your capacity. I'm just saying. Make sure y'all share this video. Also, go over to my YouTube channel. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe. I will be doing a video on biting off more than you can chew over there as well. So make sure you do that. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. That's kept.